you can draw this and procreate. Yes, we are going to create another stylized city skyline. And it's really super easy. You really don't need any drawing experience. I will guide you through the entire process. I'll take you by the hand and I'm really sure you can do this. Just check these results from previous You Can Draw This tutorials or these awesome results from my patrons at Patreon where you can find even more Procreate tutorials in case you just can't get enough. For this tutorial, all you need is a canvas of 2300 pixels by 3000 pixels color profile set to sRGB. I have a color palette for you, which you can download through the link in the description, totally free of course. We will be using a photo, which I have also linked in the description. And what else? Brushes of course, free brushes only. We'll be using brushes that are already in Procreate and some brushes that you can find through Free From Flow if you haven't already of course. And what you shouldn't forget is hit subscribe if you haven't already. I found out that about 50% of you isn't subscribed and still watching. Now if you're already, if you have your canvas ready, your pencil or your finger or whatever you'll be using, then let's get started. First thing we'll do is import the photo. Like I said, I have linked it in the description, but you can also use another city skyline photo. You can just use the search word skyline, add on splash and find a skyline that you like. In any case, we need to go to the wrench, then to add, then to insert a photo. We are going to use this city skyline photo. Let's just make it a little bit bigger. We can use our fingers to do that and make sure that it's Kind of like straight. I think this is about straight. It doesn't have to be exact, just sort of straight. Then click the arrow again to get out of the menu. And then let's, let's just lower the opacity slightly. Let's go for 70% and make a new layer on top. Don't forget that. Click the plus for a new layer. Then let's grab the first color in the color palette. And then we'll go to the selection tool. That's the S shape ribbon here at the top. We are going to set it to freehand and we are going to turn on color fill. Now we are going to follow the skyline. We are going to make a selection of these buildings, but since it's a stylized illustration we're making, don't worry too much about it. You don't have to be super precise. Just going to make some wobbles over here. Then click here at the top. And you can just sort of follow the shapes of the buildings. You don't have to get all these little thingies. Just go up and get these like stylized shapes. So we'll go all the way to the right, following all these, all these outlines of the buildings. And like I said, you don't have to be precise. Sometimes you can just do Whatever you want, make it a bit different from what you're seeing, as long as it's kind of like building, building shape. And just do this for all the buildings until you're all the way on the right side. Let me just skip ahead. And here we are on the other side. Now just make sure that you loop around all the way to the other side and then just click the little circle to close your selection. There we have a nice skyline. Now let me turn off color fill for a second. Let's crop the bottom part of the selection. You can do that by clicking remove here, then set it to rectangle and then make a rectangular selection just underneath that horizon line or it's not really just underneath that line where the water meets the buildings. And then when you use color fill again, you see that that bottom part is removed. Now you can just click the S shape ribbon again and you have your skyline. Easy as that. Now we are going to remove the photo. We'll go to layer one, slide to the left, use the lead. We don't need it anymore. Now we are going to move our skyline downwards. We will go to the little arrow here, the move tool. And make sure that you have snapping turned on here and move your skyline down to about, to about here. 
and make sure that it's centered. So you need that little orange, well, it's not really little. You need that orange line to make sure that it's in the vertical center and then just click the arrow again to get out of the menu. Now we are going to create a new layer by clicking the plus in the layer menu and we will drag that layer underneath our skyline layer. Then we'll go to the colors and we are going to use this color, the third color in the first row and drag it onto our canvas. Now let's zoom out just a little bit and use a brush. We are going to use a soft brush and set it to the second color in the first row. The opacity of this brush is set to 60% and the size is set to 24%. And we are going over the top part of our canvas to about halfway of the sky and then darken that top part some more by making multiple strokes. Then let's add just a little bit to that underside. We'll move the canvas up a little bit and then go over the lower part, just like this. Then we'll select this color, the fourth color in the first row. And we will just go along the horizon over our buildings. We'll add a touch of, well, it's almost pinkish. We'll add that there. Then we'll go to the magic wand. Go for Gaussian blur and slide your pen or your finger to the right on the screen to blur this layer. Let's go for a 36% and then just click the magic wand again. Now we are going to create a new layer on top of this layer. So click the plus. Now the new layer is between the sky layer and our skyline layer. And we are going to use the selection tool again. So click the S shape ribbon, turn off color fill, and set it to freehand. Now we are going to select some clouds. We are going to make very simple stylized clouds. So those are just a bunch of bumps. So just make some bumpy shapes. You don't have to give it, you don't have to give it too much thought. Just a bunch of bumps that are above our skyline. Let's go down here behind the buildings. Then back up for some more bumpies over here. A bigger bump, smaller bump, all the way to the right. And then loop around all the way to the left and close your selection there. Now we are going to grab this color over here, that's the fifth color in the first row. And for the brush, we are going to use a brush from the treasure chest brush pack. We are going to use the dark noise brush. The opacity is at 100% and the size is at 50%. And now we'll go over the top area of this selection. I'm making rounded motions and I'll make multiple layers on top of each other, slowly building up that light color. So the lower side is darker and the upper parts are light, just like this. And then just click the S shape ribbon again. Now let's add some stars to our sky. Let's add another layer. Let's click the plus. And for the brush, let's go to the luminance brushes and then use the glimmer brush. Let's check my settings. I have spacing set to max, jitter set to max, and I also have scatter set to max. Then click done. Uh, still, we'll still be using this color. This, is it white? It's not entirely white. And we'll still be using this light color. Now the brush opacity is at 100% and the size is at 9%. And we'll go over the top area of our canvas. Now, the harder you press, the bigger these stars will become. So try to vary the pressure you use a little bit. Make some rounded motions, filling your sky with stars. Next, let's add a moon. We'll do that on a separate layer again. So first go to the layer menu, click the plus for a new layer. And for the brush, we will use the monoline brush, which you can find under calligraphy. We'll still be using the same color. 
Opacity is at 100% and the size is at 15%. Now let's draw a circle. Hold your pen in place to make it snap to a quick shape and then tap one finger on the screen to make it snap to a perfectly round circle. Then drag in the color to fill your shape. You might need to drag your pen to the left or right to make sure that it doesn't spill all over your canvas or that you don't get a little edge around your filled area. Now I'll go to the eraser and make sure that you set it to the round chalk brush, which is also part of the treasure chest brush pack. The opacity and the size are both set to 100%. And I'll just erase a part of the moon, making rounded motions so that you get a nice sickle moon. But of course the moon is not see-through, so we wouldn't be seeing these stars through the moon. So let's go back to layer four where we have our stars, then use the eraser to erase those stars. I want to add some more stars. Let's, let's stay on this layer, layer four. Let's go back to the treasure chest brush pack and let's use what shall we use? We will use the sparkle brush. The opacity is at 100% and the size is at 7%. Now let's add a sparkle here and let's add one over here. Now we'll use the sprinkle one brush and we'll set the color to this blue over here. The first color in the second row. And the opacity is at 100% and the size is at 8%. And just dab on these sparkles. Now we'll add some more stars. We'll do that by using a luminance brush. Over here, we'll use the light pen. We'll still be using that blue. The opacity is at 100% and the size is at 40%. And let's just add some bright stars. Now with this brush, it's also the case that the harder you press, the bigger your dab will become. So just in some random spots, add some brighter stars. It'll add a little bit of interest to our scene. Make it as sparkly as you like. I think this is sparkly enough for me. Next, I want to add some more interest to the sky. We're going to create a new layer on top of these stars, but I also want these clouds that we have created, I want that to be on top of the layer we are going to create right now. So drag it on top, then go back to this layer six, and we are going to make a selection again. So let's go to the S shape ribbon, set it to freehand, make sure that color fill is turned off, and we are going to make a wobbly line going down. We'll start about here and make a wobbly line down. Then we'll go back up, wobble our way to the top and then over here, close the selection. Then for our brush, we will go to the treasure chest brush pack again. And we are going to use the Is It Grunge brush. And for the color, we are going to use the second color in the second row. Then we are going to glaze over this area on top of the clouds, adding some purplish colors there, but try to add more to the bottom than to the top. Then we'll make another selection. So tap the S shape ribbon, then tap it again. We are going to make another wobbly selection. Wobble your way down, then back up again. Then close the selection over here. Then grab the brush and add some purplish colors again. Again, add more to the bottom than to the top like this. And then click the S shape ribbon again. We're going to do that one more time. Let's grab the selection tool again. And this time we're going to make like these wispy, well, wispy shapes in these diagonal directions. Star one over here. The 
bit like this, then go back to the brush and grab the blue color. The first one in the second row. Then go over these selections, gently adding some bluish colors there. And then click the S shape ribbon again to get out of that selection. Now we have created a nice and interesting sky. Now all I want to do is add a reflection to the water because this it's water, even though it doesn't look like that yet. First, let's group all of these layers by dragging to the right on each layer. Then select group, close the group like this, then drag to the left and use duplicate. Then click that new group and use flatten. Now go to the selection tool, pick rectangle, and then select that lower area like this. And then drag or swipe with three fingers a bit like this. Maybe you'll do it better. And then you can see that you have removed the bottom part of that layer. Now let's zoom out a little bit and let's go to the arrow tool and flip this layer vertical. You can see it here, flip vertical, and then we are going to drag it down. Make sure that you have snapping turned on, drag it down, make sure that it's centered and that it's just underneath, well, the other skyline. Then tap maybe three times to pull it up just slightly and then click the arrow tool again. Now go to the layer, click the layer and turn on alpha lock. Then go to the magic wand and use Gaussian blur. Drag your pen to the right to about 4%. Now just click the magic wand again. Now we'll go to the layer again, click it or tap it, select mask. And now go and grab the soft brush under airbrushing again, set it to black. You can just double tap at the bottom to select pure black. And now let's, let's block or mask the bottom area a little bit. Gently go up to make it a bit more transparent until you have something like this. Now to make it look more like water, we are going to add a new layer on top. So just click the plus, then we'll go to the wrench then to canvas and turn on drawing guide, go to edit drawing guide, then turn off the opacity, set it to none and turn on assisted drawing. Now, when you have this turned on add 2d grid, you will only be able to make horizontal and vertical lines. And that's actually what we want. Let's click done and let's make some horizontal lines on our water. We are going to use another brush. Let's go back to the free from flow treasure chest brush pack and use the fine liner brush. And for the color, we are going to use this color, the fifth color in the first row. The opacity of the brush is at 100% and the size is at 6%. And now we are just going to make some horizontal lines on the water to add some interest there and to make it look a bit more like water that is super, super still. Because it's almost like a mirror. Make some thinner lines. So less pressure near, near the skyline. And you can make some thicker ones here near the viewer. Until you feel like it's enough and then you're actually done. You have created a stylized city skyline. I hope you have enjoyed the process. If you did, then go ahead and enjoy the process of hitting subscribe. It's a great way to support this channel and it's totally free. I want to thank you for watching and I will see you next time for the next You Can Draw This Video tutorial.